Just walk us through what happened there. I think 40 seconds left when you tried to call timeout. Didn't have a timeout to call. Um, I knew we I, I knew we challenged, but I didn't realize when we lost the challenge that we didn't have any timeouts left. Um, I know Coach mentioned um, he took the blame for it. As I ain't going to lie, I thought it was the smartest play in the world. Uh, when I got the ball, turned around, saw a trap, realized there was no real outlets instead of turning it over. It's kind of the uh, the heady play, but it turned out not to be. I looked over at the bench, and everybody was shaking their head. <laughs> <clears throat> so it was an unfortunate situation in that respect, but good learning lesson. Thankfully, we, we came away with the win, but good learning lesson on how important all those details are. We know it, but... Knowing timeouts, knowing the situation, um, it was just an unfortunate sequence right there. What did you think about the two, I guess, decisions that involved Draymond today? Him coming off the bench and then in the second half starting him on Fox. I mean, we talk about it a lot around here, around doing whatever it takes to win and everybody being able to be flexible on what their role is, what they're asked to do from the top all the way to the bottom. You know, we, it's well documented. We've all, most of us have been in situations where that's become a decision. Last year in the playoffs with me, Wiggs coming back in the beginning of this year's playoffs, Draymond, you know, from game two to game four. So it's just being ready to play no matter what the situation calls for, the versatility of our team, um, and the fact that we know each other so well that he doesn't start in the first half starts the second half you know matchup change and we uh, kind of pick it right where we left off so it's just a credit to to him obviously accepting the role um it's a credit to just our, our, our one through 15 being able to you know keep the identity of how we play no matter who's starting or who's you know out there over here, stuff. Uh, the uh, last possession when you guys were on offense is about a four-second differential. Uh, you took the shot, I think, with about 12 left. Can you take us through uh, that possession, please? It's always a balance of you know playing the clock and trying to find the best shot. Because obviously, if you if I make the floater, we're up three with 10 seconds left, and you you like that kind of position to have one more stop. Obviously, I missed. It's a little fight for the rebound. They call a timeout with. 10 seconds left, so, um, you know, I, I live with that decision, though, and D. Fox kind of went for a phantom steal. I had the whole lane kind of wide open, made a decision. I live with it. Uh, wish I would have made it, obviously, but uh, we were able to get one last stop, so that's the nature of the playoffs where you, I analyzed that possession, figure out what I could do different. Had they made the shot, it would be a different context, but, you know, you play to, to the buzzer.